morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having this morning, whether it's coffee, tea, apple juice, grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, whatever you're having, please have it with Jesus Christ. Notice today, as I look at this palm tree, it reminds me of the God of peace. How God has promised, it looks so peaceful as I see it dance in the wind and, and, just, and, and just enjoy the, 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 the swaying of God's breeze just blowing on it. You know, um, it reminds me of peace, the word peace. When you have peace in your heart, in your soul, and in your mind, it doesn't mean that noise isn't around you, you know. It doesn't mean that you don't hear clamor. It doesn't mean that there's no trouble around you. But when you have peace, you could be in the midst of trouble and be calm. People say, well, you're not upset. What happened? They just said that about you. They just did this to you. And you're not upset because you have a peace that surpasses all understanding. God has promised that he will give us a peace that will surpass all understanding. At times when you should be crying, people see you smiling. Maybe you may have lost a loved one and people look at you and say, how could you smile at the time? Such as this, you just lost your mom, you just lost your father, your sister, your brother. God gives you that peace that surpasses all understanding. Maybe you might be on a job where people are picking at you, doing everything, and you always have a smile because you have peace in the midst of the storm on the job. Today, continue to bask in the presence and the peace of God. Reach across the aisle today in the midst of everything and share love and help someone to understand that this God is still a God of peace, that he's still a God of love, he's still a God of hope. And God sent heaven's best to die as a perpetual offering that we may have this peace that surpasses all understanding. This is your morning self.